This is an introduction to double entry accounting. On the left hand side of the screen is a simple accounting system that does not include double entry. On the right hand side of the screen is a simple double entry accounting system. Have a look at the data on the screen. You'll notice to this point in time it is identical in both systems. We start with the reporting period, the start of the reporting period. We then have transactions evidenced by documents which are then recorded into the journals and the stock cards and we get to the end of the reporting period. So clearly there's a, a lot of similarities between the simple accounting system on the left and the simple double entry accounting system on the right. But there are some differences. On the left hand side of the screen at the end of the reporting period we would do some calculations such as work out any GST owing at the end of the period we would work out, for example, uh, the balances of any loans that are owing. And then, after those calculations are done, we would prepare the, report, the reports, the cash flow statement, the profit loss statement, and the balance sheet. On the right-hand side of the screen, the double entry accounting system, we would transfer or post the information in the journals to the general ledger. More about that in a moment. And then we would prepare a trial balance more about that in a moment. But following that we would still then prepare the reports and we would generate the cash flow statement, the profit loss statement and the balance sheet. And those final reports would be identical whether we use double entry or not. So both systems end up with the same accounting reports. It's just that under double entry we have these two additional parts that is information being transferred to the general ledger and the preparation of a trial balance. These are the two things that are unique to double entry accounting. So double entry is a method of recording data into ledger accounts. Ledger accounts are accounting records. Here is a simple uh, ledger account on the screen. We use what's called T-type ledger accounts because they look like large T's and these large T ledger accounts have a left hand side which we will call the debit side and they have a right hand side which we will call the credit side. So in the context of double entry accounting the, the word debit simply means on the left hand side and in the context of double entry accounting the word credit simply means on the right hand side. The ledger account will also have some other information. It will always have, of course, the name of the ledger account at the top. It will have a date, a reference, and a dollar column on both sides of the ledger account. And notice up the top there, I've just put a little abbreviation there. DR means debit, left-hand side, and CR means credit, right-hand side. Each item will have its own ledger account. Here are some examples of asset ledger accounts. There's a bank ledger account, a computer ledger account, a vehicle ledger account, stock control ledger account, etc, etc, etc. If a business has 20 assets, for example, it would have 20 ledger accounts. Each asset has its own record and we call these records ledger accounts. Here are some examples of simple liability ledger accounts or common liability ledger accounts. A loan account, the GST clearing account and the creditors control account. Common liability ledger accounts. Here is the owner's equity ledger account which we call capital. So the name of the account that's given to the owner is capital. Revenue the major revenue account is sales, but if there are additional revenue accounts, they would appear as well. But the primary revenue account is sales. And here are some examples of common expense ledger accounts. Wages, cost of sales, advertising, there could be many, many more examples. And all of these ledger accounts are kept in what's called the general ledger. So where do we find ledger accounts? We find them in the general ledger. This is where the ledger accounts are kept and most businesses who had a manual accounting system would have some sort of system to categorize those ledger accounts in the general ledger, such as an alphabetical system or perhaps they would classify them according to the elements. That's the end of this first video.